So in this video, I just want to show you a quick example of how to do a double integral. Now some double integrals are easy, especially if you don't have to change the order of integration. So here's an example where you in fact do need to change the order of integration. So we're asked to integrate the function y times the, cos the cosine of pi x cubed um, with respect to x and with respect to i. Notice that we're asked to integrate with respect to x first, because we've got a dx here. And the limits are um, x has to vary from y to 1, so it's got to start at y and end at 1. And for y, I've got to start at 0 and end at 1. So if I plot these as inequalities, well, what does that tell us? Well, that means I've got to do um, all, this, all the points, let's say x, such that, such that what? Well, x has got to start from y, that's the lowest possible value of x, and it's got to end at 1, that's the largest possible value of x. What about y? Well, if I look at the outermost integral, well, I've also got to start, so y has got to vary from y equals 0, that's the lower limit, and it's got to go all the way up to y equals 1. Okay, so that's what the integral is trying to tell us. Well, what happens if I physically try to do this integral as it is? Well, I've got to integrate with respect to x first. So no matter what happens, I've got to integrate y cosine pi x cubed with respect to x. Now, I've noticed that that's actually impossible. In fact, we can't integrate something like cosine of x squared. In fact, that's called a Fresnel integral. Um, so this integral actually doesn't exist in terms of elementary functions. I mean, you can't find an antiderivative that will give you um, cosine pi x, cu pi x cubed, for example. So what I want to do is I want to change the order of integration. So instead of having my function times dx dy, I want to have my function with some changed limits, which I'll show you how to change in a second, um, first with respect to y and then with respect to x. And that's much easier to deal with because I know how to integrate y, but I don't know how to integrate cosine of pi x cubed. So I've got to figure out how to change the order of integration. So how do I do that? Well, one way is to just look at my inequalities, and from these you can sort of deduce um, what those limits should be. But there's a bit of a nicer way to do it, and sort of graphical way to do it, if you just use some um, graphing tools or just plot some curves. So what I like to do is I like to label these. So this integral here is asking me to integrate from x equals y to x equals 1. So in other words, I've got to start at the line. Uh, well, I want to look at the region that's bounded by the lines uh, y equals x and x equals 1. As for the outer integral, I've got to start at the point y equals 0. So that's y equals 0 and end at y equals 1. So I want to look at the region that's bounded by these four lines. So let's see if I can draw a picture that illustrates this. Uh, could be a bit straighter than that. I guess I'll have to do. Okay, so first I want to plot the line y equals x. That's quite straightforward. Just a diagonal line right through the origin well, sort of, through, sort of through the origin. Um, and I also want to plot the line x equals 1. So this is y equals x. And let's say this is the line x equals 1. x equals 1. So those are my limits with respect to x. As for the limits with respect to y, let's do exactly the same thing, maybe in a different color. Uh, let's do a light green. So I want to start at y equals 0 and end up at y equals 1. So let's plot the line y equals 0 first. Well, that's easy. That's just the x-axis. So this is the line. Uh, it's not a very nice color, is it? Um, let's try blue. So that's just the line y equals 0. And notice that um, because this is line x equals, x equals 1, then this, is, this intersects the point at the point 1, 1. So I've got a... So my line y equals 1 is going to pass through that point. So this is the line y, y equals 1. Now, I want the region that is bounded by all four of these lines. Well, clearly it's this region. Why is it that region? Well, I want the region that's bounded first, first of all by these two blue lines. So it's got to be in these two, between these two rays, if you like. And it's also got to satisfy the fact that uh, y is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. So it's got to be to the well, below this line and to the left of this line. And there's only one possible region it could be, and that's this one. Let's just erase that for a second. So this triangle, basically. OK, 
Okay, so now what do I want to do? Well, I want to rewrite my integral in the following way. So if I change the order of integration, I want to have this. So I'm going to have the outer integral and the inner integral. I don't yet know what the limits are. It's going to be my function y cosine pi x cubed. Now I'm swapping these two. So instead of dx dy, it's going to say dy dx dy dx and I want to try and figure out what these uh, lower and upper limits should actually be. Well if I'm first integrating with respect to y that means I've got to find out what the lowest possible y coordinate is and what the highest possible y coordinate is on my region. Well if I start let's use this sort of dark blue maybe purple in fact I've, obviously I've got to start at zero so obviously the starting point is zero and I'm integrating with respect to y, so it's going to be upwards in this direction. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to integrate upwards. And notice that every time I start from this baseline, I'm hitting a point of the line that's bounded by y equals x, or I'm hitting the line y equals x. So the upper limit is entirely determined by this line y equals x. So it makes sense that the upper limit must in fact be x. Because if I start from 0, I'm always hitting uh, this line. So that takes care of dy. How about with respect to x? Well, let's use another color. Let's say uh, orange. I'm, I'm now going to do the opposite. I'm now going to go from left to right. Well, again, I've got to start from 0 inside this region. So it's got to start from 0. And what's my, um, what's my upper limit going to be? Well, if I start from here and I draw lines going this way, inside this region, every single arrow is going to hit this line, this line right here. That's a line x equals 1. So in every case, the upper limit has got to be x equals 1. So the upper limit here is just 1. That's the upper limit of every, every um, arrow that I'm drawing here. So now I physically managed to change the order of integration. Does that help things? Well, certainly it does. So what can I do now? Well, things are actually far simpler now. So if I just rewrite my limits like this, integral from 0 to 1, well, I've got y cos pi x cubed dy. That's the first integral I have to do. It's very easy to integrate this with respect to y. First of all, because cosine pi x cubed doesn't even depend on y, so I can in fact treat it as a constant if I'm referring to the innermost integral. The y obviously isn't a constant, but I can very easily integrate y. That's just half y squared. So if I pull out the cosine pi is cubed, because for the moment that doesn't depend on y, and I do the integral of y dy, so if I just underline that just to make it clear, y dy, and remember this, uh, that's the integral I'm dealing with, that's quite easy to do. Well, the integral of y dy is just uh, half y squared. So it's half y squared. And my limits are 0 and x. And I've got a dx out front. Right, so this is quite easy to do now. So that's the integral from 0 to 1 of cosine of pi x cubed. What's on the inside? Well, if I substitute in x, I'm just going to get half x squared minus half zero squared, so I can ignore that term because a half zero squared is just zero. So that's going to be a half x squared dx. And now this is looking a lot like something I can deal with much better than what I had originally. So first of all, I want to get rid of this pi x cubed term because I definitely can't integrate this in this current form. So if I let u be pi x cubed, I can have just the cosine of something on its own. Well, if I differentiate this with respect to x, i.e. if I complete the substitution, that tells me that du uh, is, uh, what is that? Well, that's 3 pi x squared dx. And what else am I going to do? Well, I want this to read as a half x squared dx. So I've got to first of all divide by 3 pi, and then I've got to divide, divide by 2 so I get the half x squared term. So if I just write that down, um, that tells me the half x squared dx, if I divide by 3 pi and then divide by 2, that's uh, 1 over 3 pi divided by a half, so that's just uh, 1 over 6 pi. 
D. So if I just substitute these things in, what happens? Well, I'm going to have the integral. Well, I've got to deal with my limits too. So when x equals 0, uh, I've got pi times 0 cubed, which is just 0. So the lower limit is 0. That's the value of u. And when x happens to be 1, I've got pi times 1 cubed. So in this case, u is just pi. Well, here I've got, um, well, if I deal with this term first, a half x squared dx, that's just 1 over 6 pi du. So 1 over 6 pi, let's put the du over here. Cosine of pi x cubed as per my substitution, that's just cosine of u. So cosine of u. And this is really easy to integrate because we know that the integral of cosine is sine. So that tells me that this is 1 over 6 pi. times the sine of u evaluated over the region uh, u equals 0 to u equals pi. So now I've just got to substitute these limits in. This is just 1 over 6 pi times sine of pi minus sine of 0. Well, the sine of pi is just 0. So that's 0. And the sine of 0 is also 0 because sine is uh, 2 pi periodic, and it's, it's got 0, is at 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, uh, up to sine as well. So this just simplifies to 1 over 6 pi times 0, which is just 0. So the value of my double integral after all this work of changing the order of integration is just 0. So that's how I change the order of integration to do an example like this. So that's all I wanted to show you. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Thanks for watching.